Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna be checking out some new tech, I guess, that um, I've been interested in, and it finally came in, and I'm actually gonna be using this at Greater Works. This is the Wall Cat 8 from Sound Tools. So let's check it out. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. This is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member. Links are down below. So um, if you've been watching any of my vlogs, I've been doing um, pulling cable and getting greater works set up down in Petersburg, Virginia, and they wanted to, they have a media booth that's in the back, and this, actually they were in a different building, but now they're in the actual church. So I am <laughs> climbed in attics, pulling cable for SDI and all this other stuff like that, and that will be covered later. But they also have wireless systems for all their mics, which are easy, but their speakers are in the front, as well as they have a plug-in for they have their keyboard and maybe another instrument in the front. And it's like, I could have just pulled four XLR cables to the female end, to the male end, and just put jacks up there. But this was an opportunity for me to test out some new stuff that I've seen. And honestly, I actually wanted to use at my church. But the opportunity is now here. And this is the Sound Tools Wallcat 8. These things... Uh, will send four channels of four female XLR and four male XLR over a single shielded Cat 5E cable. So let's look and see what this is all about. It actually supposedly just fits in a two gang low voltage box, which I recently just put in the wall at Greater Works maybe about an hour ago. Um, I wish I had known because I came in <laughs> right when I was going down there, 10 minutes after driving, I got a message that this was delivered. So I could have actually installed it, but hey, I wanted to do an unboxing of this as well. And make sure I don't rip this thing open because you never know if I might have to return it. Come on now. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> All right, all right, we got our starter guide, and this is the unit, which is pretty slick looking. All right, so it has all of the connections there. We got four female, four male, and we have two, and that's kind of sticky right there. I don't know if that's a resin or something like that. But anyway, we have two RJ45s here. One of them is a loop, and then the other is a pass-through. And again, it says it requires shielded um, Cat 5E, which I literally just pulled. Um, got a 100-foot yellow gold Cat 5E cable that I just did. And it pretty much says um, the install, just uh, an American two gang wall box, which I have. You connect it to this one right there, put the plate in, and that's it. And it doesn't say it requires power, it doesn't say it requires POE, it doesn't say it needs any of that. So this is gonna be interesting, because what I'm gonna do is I have my Evo 4 here, but I also have my Yamaha mixer. So what I wanna do is I'm going to get some extra XLR cables, and I'm gonna run those into one of these, and then run a, I know it says shielded, um, I don't have one, so I'm just gonna make a cable, um, just to see if it works, um, but I, in the install, it is gonna be a shielded cable. Um, but I'm just gonna hook this up and see what we get with this. Cause I really like the fact that instead of me running, I mean, see, this would have been four, um, eight actually XLR cables that I would have had to pull in the ceiling. 
and fish them down the wall and all this other stuff. But to be able to send this over a single Ethernet cable is awesome. And I got to redo some audio in our um, chapel at the church. And if this works great, this would be an awesome solution for that. So instead of trying to pull all these other cables, I can just run a shielded cable. Boom. And then actually I can terminate it myself, so I don't really need to mind. But hey, let's, let me go ahead and find a cable around here and test this out and see how this works. All right, so I have my Rode Wireless plugged into the wall cap here. Cat6 cable right here, going into the other one where this is plugged into my Yamaha mixer. Uh, all right, so if we cut over to the computer, you'll see that we are bringing in Rode pod mic that you're seeing right here is mic number one. So now I'm going to switch over. Let me get my headphones so I can make sure I'm actually hearing something from my mixer. We are gonna mix, switch over to that. And let me make sure my levels are good. All right. Cause I want to be able to make sure I'm getting the same type of volume with this. I have not tweaked this or anything. So I'm just going off of what I originally used this for a wedding. All right. So let's go ahead and turn off my regular mic and turn on the wireless go that's going through the wall cap. All right. So now I am coming solely from here and I really don't know how this is going to sound um, from editing, but I am picking up audio. There is no power going to this at all. So again, this is pretty cool that this is working like this. All my audio is coming from this. It's probably low. Um, I've always had to boost this in post when I was using the wireless go. I just haven't had a chance to dial it in because I literally just did this, but um, I don't have a cable to actually, I don't have a quarter inch to a XLR cable so I can hook my keyboard up to this to test because that's really what this is going to be used for. Um, but I'm liking that this was simple to do compared to having to pull eight um, XLR cables or just raw cables and then solder them on the other end, which could be done, but that would be time consuming compared to just pulling another cable like I just did. So again, all of this is still going off of, all of this is still going off of the wireless go. So again, there may be some sound and stuff like that. Normally I don't use the wireless go like this. I actually have a, um, a little lavalier and let me actually hook that up here. All right, so now I am on the lavalier of how I normally would do my audio and place it here or whatever. So this is how normally I would be more comfortable talking. Probably the audio sounds better from here. But again, this works. That's the whole point of this. I am very, very surprised just how well this works and there's no additional power. So I'm looking forward to installing this and fully testing this because I'm only using one channel right now. And um, let me switch back to my other, well, I'm gonna keep it on this one. And I will put, I most likely, like I said, I will probably increase the volume in editing of this, but I'm looking forward to see how this will work actually having sound out through their speakers, as well as having their keyboard and another instrument coming in. The good thing is, even with this, I have four channels um, in and out going so that's a lot better than what they originally had. So they have at least two more channels here and here that they're not using, but it's already there if they ever need it. So I'm excited about that. So again, let me switch back to my regular audio now. So that was the Wallcat 8. Um, eight channels of audio going in that you can use in any way, shape or form that you want and awesome. So I'm looking forward to this is gonna make this install really easy. And the fact that how well this worked, I now got a good idea that um, 
when we start redoing the sound, the cabling and audio, mainly the, the not the speakers because we already installed those, mainly the microphones for the chapel, this would be a great option because I can just put the plate at, in the top in the media booth area and then put this one on the floor and I don't need to have multiple jacks. I can just have one and then that gives me all the mics that I need compared to having all those inserts that we did. Granted, I'm gonna still have to crawl up under the floor um, of the chapel, but the good, I, the good thing about this is I only need to pull one cable, so that's awesome. So Wallcat 8, excellent product. Um, looking forward to um, installing this and look for my vlog when I do that at Greater Works to put it in its final place and test it again. Um, link is in the description um, at multiple locations where you can actually get this from. Um, and they were $80 each, and you have to buy two of them, obviously, for them to work. But again, compared to what it would have been for cables, jacks, and everything, I came out to right about, maybe about $20 cheaper than if I would have bought it that way. So really like this, highly recommend it. I will be using this again if I have to <laughs> do any type of stuff like this. Oh, and the other thing I, that I did not mention with this, you don't, you can daisy chain these. And I just dropped my wireless go you can daisy chain these so it's not like you would have to run this all over the place you can have one of these right here and then if you have another jack you can just run another cable out of this into the other one and daisy chain them that way so you don't have to have multiple um, runs going back so if they ever decided to add more jacks to this i could actually do a loop out there and do it that way so i think that's also cool but anyway, like I said, links are in the description if you're interested in those and be on the lookout for the vlog when I actually install this and test it at Greater Works. I think I already said that. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron or a YouTube member by clicking the link below. And whichever way you choose, just know that you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video later.